Well, a very good afternoon. Thanks for clicking on to Vogan's European Outlook. We are now on Monday and dawning on the coldest of April so far. The last three nights have been particularly cold thanks to a drop in wind and temperatures minus 9.4 Celsius at Tullet Bridge in the West Highlands. It marks the coldest April night in the UK since 2013. Uh, back that month, we actually dropped below minus 11 at Bray Marsh, so still a way off and a way off the, the all-time record of minus 15 Celsius um, for the UK for the month of April. So, uh, But still, nonetheless, very, very cold indeed. Of course, we've had two waves of very cold air, bitterly cold, potent air from the Arctic uh, that has been coming down. We've been seeing persistent snowfall really anywhere across the British Isles in the past week. And uh, temperatures uh, across the UK, the mean is the mean average temperature is now in three below the normal for the time of the year. So a pretty significant month in terms of cold. We're also sitting on the ni uh, only 9% of rainfall for the month of April as well. So it's been not only cold, but also very, very dry as well. So it looks as if we're going to continue to see high pressure dominate. Yes, we've lost the wind. So daytime temperatures are now starting to come up uh, quite significantly over the, the, the course of this week. But nighttime frost and freezes will remain a threat uh, due to clear skies and those light winds. Of course, you've got the drier, so it warms up by daytime, probably widely 10 to 13 Celsius uh, through the middle portion of this week. But of course, uh, under clear skies and light winds by night, the temperature still falls down to zero or below. So we're going to maintain that frost threat throughout the week. We're going to gradually, slowly creep out of this uh, very cold uh, pattern that we've got at the moment. Uh, how warm we get remains to be seen, but it certainly would take a heck of a warm second half of the month to bring the UK average temperature back up to, to average again, which I just simply don't see uh, being the case. But we are nonetheless going to see a recovery in temperature by daytime at least. Like I say, high pressure remains the dominant player, as you can see here, throughout the course of this week. Frontal systems trying to make an approach in the UK, but you notice the high pressure, which retrogrades back towards Scandinavia, continues to keep weather fronts at bay, and then eventually it allows a front to come through. This is the latest GFS, which uh, allows a front to come through during Sunday. So it takes all the way to the end of the upcoming weekend, to see a frontal system make inroads across the British Isles. Once that pushes through, we're back under high pressure dominance once again. But what's interesting, as we push towards the very latter half of the run, which takes us out to, say, uh, the following, the end of next week, uh, so it's a long way off, of course, it's, it's in fantasy land, but it's interesting to see how the model indicates another surge of cold air coming down, as you can see here as we pr approach the final days of April here. So uh, I would be a little bit reluctant to say that we're completely done with this just yet, but certainly we're going to see a reprieve in terms of, you know, the, the, the unusually cold daytime maximums and, on like, you know, midwinter level cold uh, during the overnight period. I think we're going to start to lose that, but certainly this here would indicate a little bit more fun and games before we finally pull out. Uh, precipitation wise, uh, this is the upcoming seven day anomaly here of the GFS Ensemble and we're just gonna maintain this dry, drier than normal theme as we push uh, towards the month of May here. So we're gonna end up uh, one of the driest Aprils on record potentially here uh, when all is said and done. But certainly it is an interesting pattern it has been a relatively quiet pattern in terms of active weather because of the blocking, because of the, the air coming in from the north. That is not a particularly moist source, of course. Um, and it looks as if over the next week or so, we're still going to maintain a fairly benign weather pattern. So that's it for today. Hope you have a great uh, Monday afternoon. And I'll be back in the next couple of days with more. Bye for now.